Hello everyone, and welcome to another pajama party! And how are you? That's right, you can say, I, five, thank you! Hello, 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 how are you? I'm fine, I'm fine, I'm fine, thank you. All right, so this time I'll sing Hello, How Are You, and you can sing I'm Fine, okay? All right, here we go, ready? Hello, 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 how are you? I'm fine, I'm fine. Thank you. All right, very good. All right, so this time you can sing Hello, How Are You? and I'll sing I'm Fine. Okay, ready? Here we go. Hello, 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 how are you? Very good. I'm fine, I'm fine, I'm fine. Thank you. Very good. Let's do it one more time, everyone together. Are you ready? Here we go. Hello, 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 how are you? I'm fine, I'm fine, I'm fine, thank you. All right, very good. So I hope everybody's all ready for bed. You've got your pajamas on. What are the other things we have to do to get ready for bed? Yeah, that's right. We have to wash our hands. All right, so to wash our hands, first we rub our palms together like this. Rub, 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 rub. And then spread your fingers apart. Get right in there. Rub, 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 rub. Then you can put your right hand on top of your left hand back of your hand. Rub, 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 rub. Okay, and then your left hand on top of your right hand. Rub, 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 rub. And don't forget your thumbs. Put your thumbs. And then you can take the tips of your fingers and put them in your palms like this. Okay, and then around the wrist. And there we go, we're nice and clean. And while we wash our hands, we can sing Wash, wash, wash your hands, everyone together. 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 And there we go, we're all nice and clean. Okay, and what do we do next, Tebe Matsi? That's right, we wash our face. We can wash, wash, wash our face, everyone together. Wash, wash, wash your face, everyone together. Wash, wash, wash your face, everyone together. Wash, wash, wash your face, everyone together. All right, and then what do we do next? That's right, we brush our teeth. All right. So, <clears throat> brush, brush, brush your teeth, everyone together. 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 All right, very good. All right. What's that, Teddy? The Brush Your Teeth song. Oh, the other Brush Your Teeth song? Sure, we can sing the Brush Your Teeth song. All right, so to sing this song, we need to snap. Do you know how to snap? All right, so to snap, you take your fingers lightly, like this, and make a nice little hole back here, see? See how we've got a little space there? All right, and then you take your thumb and your middle finger, 
and you rub them really quick. And if you don't get it at first, just keep trying and you'll get it eventually. All right, so here we go. Ready? When you wake up in the morning and it's quarter to one and you want to have a little fun, you brush your teeth. You brush your teeth. When you wake up in the morning and it's quarter to two and you want to find something fun to do, you brush your teeth. You brush your teeth. When you wake up in the morning and it's quarter to three and your brain starts humming, twiddle dee you brush your teeth. You brush your teeth. When you wake up in the morning and it's quarter to four and you think you hear a knock on the door. You brush your teeth. You brush your teeth. When you wake up in the morning and it's quarter to five and you just can't wait to come alive. You brush your teeth. You brush your teeth. There we go. How's that, Teddy? Yeah? Okay. So I guess we're ready for stories, are we? Okay. So, today we've got stories about dragons. And our first story, it's a very small book. This is The Paper Bag Princess by Robert Munch. When Elizabeth was a beautiful princess, she lived in a castle and had expensive princess clothes. She was going to marry a prince named Ronald. Unfortunately, a dragon smashed her castle, burnt all her clothes with his fiery breath, and carried away Prince Ronald. Elizabeth decided to chase the dragon and get Ronald back. She looked all over for something to wear, but the only thing that she could find that was not burnt was a paper bag. So she put on the paper bag and followed the dragon. He was easy to follow because he left a trail of burnt forest and horse's teeth. Finally, Elizabeth came to a cave with a large door that had a huge knocker on it. She took hold of the knocker and banged on the door. Bang, 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 bang. The dragon stuck his nose out the door and said, Well, a princess. I love to eat princesses, but I've already eaten a whole castle today. I'm a very busy dragon. Come back tomorrow. He slammed the door so fast that Elizabeth almost got her nose caught. Elizabeth grabbed the knocker and banged on the door again. The dragon stuck his nose out the door and said, Go away! I love to eat princesses, but I've already eaten a whole castle today. Oh, I'm a very busy dragon. Come back tomorrow. Wait, shouted Elizabeth. Is it true that you are the smartest and fiercest dragon in the whole world? Oh, yes, said the dragon. Is it true, said Elizabeth, that you can burn up ten forests with your fiery breath? Oh, yes, said the dragon. And he took a huge deep breath and breathed out so much fire that he burnt up 50 forests. Fantastic, said Elizabeth. The dragon took another huge breath and breathed out so much fire that he burnt up 100 forests. Wow, magnificent, said Elizabeth. And the dragon took another huge breath. But this time, nothing came out. The dragon didn't even have enough fire left to cook a meatball. 
Elizabeth said, Dragon, is it true that you can fly around the world in just ten seconds? Oh, why, uh, yes, said the dragon, and jumped up and flew all the way around the world in just ten seconds. He was very tired when he got back, but Elizabeth shouted, Fantastic! Do it again! Do it again! So the dragon jumped up and flew around the whole world in just 20 seconds. When he got back, he was too tired to talk. He lay down and went right to sleep. <sighs> Elizabeth whispered very softly, Hey, dragon! The dragon didn't move at all. She lifted up the dragon's ear and pulled her head right inside, and she shouted as loud as she could, Hey, dragon! The dragon was so tired, he didn't even move. Elizabeth walked over to the dragon, right over the dragon, and opened the door to the cave. There was Prince Ronald. He looked at her and said, Boy, are you a mess. <laughs> you smell like ashes and your hair is all tangled. And... You are wearing a dirty old paper bag. Huh. Come back when you're dressed like a real princess. Ronald, said Elizabeth, your clothes are really pretty and your hair is all neat. You look like a real prince, but you're a bum. They didn't get married after all. The end. And that's the paper bag princess. <laughs> Hi. Oh, hello, Popo. How are you? <laughs> what song would you like to sing? You want to sing a song about a dog? Oh, how about how about we sing Bingo? Shall we sing Bingo? All right, let's sing Bingo. Farmer Brown, he had a dog, and Bingo was his name-o. B-I-N-G-O, 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 and Bingo was his name-o. Farmer Brown, he had a dog, and Bingo was his name-o. I N-G-O, I-N-G-O, I-N-G-O, and Bingo was his name-o. Farmer Brown, he had a dog, and Bingo was his name-o. N-G-O, N-G-O. N-G-O, and Bingo was his name-o. Farmer Brown, he had a dog, and Bingo was his name-o. G-O, 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 and Bingo was his name-o. Farmer Brown, he had a dog, and Bingo was his name, oh. Oh, 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 and Bingo was his name, oh. Farmer Brown, he had a dog, and Bingo was his name, oh. And Bingo was his name, oh, B-I-N-G-O, 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 and Bingo was his name, oh. All right, very good. What's up, Goomba? Oh, you liked the first story, but there weren't enough bears in it. Hmm. Well, let's see what we can do about that. Oh, but you...
you still want some dragons. Okay. Well, let's let's see what we can do. Let's see. Once upon a time, there was a village. And who lived in the village? Well, of course, bears lived in the village. There we go. And the village the village was right next to a mountain that was covered in beautiful flowers. All the bears in the village loved flowers. They wanted to go and pick them, to put them in vases on their kitchen tables, and to put them in their hair. But no one dared go near the mountain. You must never go near the mountain. There's a dragon there, and every time somebody goes to pick flowers in the mountains, the dragon steps on them and smushes them flat. Oh, dear, I don't want to go out. I don't want flowers that much. Aww. in his cave in the mountain. The dragon lived surrounded by flowers. But the dragon wasn't happy. Now you might ask yourself, how could a dragon have such a beautiful garden of flowers and not be happy? Well, you see, this particular dragon, instead of breathing flower, or instead of breathing fire, Every time he roared, flowers came out. Roar! Now, one flower might smell very nice, but being surrounded by millions of flowers was too much for the poor dragon. He wished that the townspeople would come and take some of the flowers away. So one day, he decided to go down to the village and visit. But when he stepped left, oh dear, he smushed one of the bears flat. And when he stepped right, he smushed another bear flat. Oops, uh, uh. Hey, you, big meanie, stepping on my family, get out of here. Oh, uh, oh, oh, uh, sorry. The dragon went home to his cave. He was very sad. Just then, a robin came and sat in his rose bush. Hello, Mr. Dragon. Uh, hello there, Robin. It seems like you have a problem. Yes, my feet are just too big. And the people won't come to the mountains and take some of these flowers away. Ah, I might know a solution. How could you, such a tiny little bird, have any idea what it's like to have huge feet? Well, you see, 
I used to have a similar problem. I used to be an enormous bird. And every time I would go and visit the village, my huge wings would blow the houses away. Oh, that sounds terrible. What did you do? Well, I discovered a magic flower that can make you small. Oh, flower. I've got lots of flowers, but no magic flowers. Well, actually, you've got the same magic flowers growing right in front of your house over here. The robin flew down and picked one of the pink flowers sitting in front of the dragon's house and gave it to him. Here you are. Eat this and you'll become small, like me. Well, it seems kind of silly, but okay. So with nothing to lose, the dragon ate the pink flower. And sure enough, hey, it worked, it worked. And so the dragon was able to go down to the village. And from that day on, the people were always happy to see him because he always brought them lots of beautiful flowers. Oh, hi there. Here you are. Thank you. The end. Were there enough bears in there for you, Gumba? Yeah? Okay, good. Ooh, well, guys, it's getting pretty late. How about one more little song before bed? What would you like to sing, Honey Bear? Oh, yeah. Baba Black Sheep. Oh, especially the verse with the bees. Okay. Sure, we can sing that one. Baba Black Sheep, have you any wool? Yes, sir, yes, sir, three bags full. One for my master and one for the dame. And one for the little boy who lives down the lane. The, the honeybees next. Okay. Buzz, buzz, honeybee, is your honey sweet? Yes, sir, yes, sir, sweet enough to eat. Honey for your muffins and honey for your cakes. Or honey by the spoonful, as much as we can make. Buzz, buzz, honeybee, is your honey sweet? Yes, sir, yes, sir, sweet enough to eat. Yes, sir, yes, sir, as tasty as can be. You can churn it into butter, or make it into cheese, or make it into ice cream, yeah. or just drink it if you please. Moo, moo, brown cow, have you milk for me? Yes, sir, yes, sir, as tasty as can be. the red hen. Cluck, cluck, red hen, have you any eggs? Yes, sir, yes, sir, as many as your legs. One for your breakfast and one for your lunch. Come back tomorrow and we'll have another bunch. Cluck, cluck, red hen, have you any eggs? Yes, sir, yes, sir, as many as your legs. Baba Black Sheep, have you any wool? Yes, sir, yes, sir, three bags.
bags full, one for your sweater and one for your rug, and one for a blanket to keep you warm and snug. Ba ba black sheep, have you any wool? Yes sir, yes sir, three bags full. Good, honey bear? All right, good. Well, you know what time it is. It's time to say goodbye. But join me again tomorrow. Tomorrow, for the Sunday afternoon craft, we're going to be making dragons. Yes, you guessed it. So, um, to do the craft with us, what you'll need, you'll need two toilet paper tubes, uh, some glue, some scissors, and someone old enough to use them, some crayons and someone young enough to use them, and the uh, template which you can print off from our Facebook page, uh, Babylon Kids uh, Facebook. So be sure to join us tomorrow at four for that. All right, thank you very much. And thank you for joining me. I can say goodbye, you can say goodbye. I can say goodbye to you, you can say goodbye to me. Goodbye, goodbye to you. I can say goodbye, you can say goodbye. I can say goodbye to you, you can say goodbye to me. Goodbye, goodbye to you. I can say goodbye, goodbye Teddy. You can say goodbye, goodbye Teddy Mopsy. I can say goodbye to you, goodbye Honey Bear. You can say goodbye to me, goodbye Gumba. Goodbye, goodbye to you. I can say goodbye, you can say goodbye. I can say goodbye to you, you can say goodbye to me. Goodbye, goodbye to you. Thank you everybody, good night.